I'm Casey Donovan, and together with Amy Malloy, we welcome you back to The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. Our bonus weekend episodes are all about that big breath out and chill. Mindfulness tips to renew, revive, and feel alive. In the past, we've shared tips about how to manage feeling overwhelmed about your weekend, how to handle overcommitment, and how to ease the anxiety of overstimulation. But what about the flip side of all of that? For a lot of people, tomorrow, Sunday, is the loneliest peak of the week. Our beds feel especially empty. Our single status shouts loudly. And anyone we're missing seems twice as far away from us. How can mindfulness keep us company? Tip one, remember you are not your relationship status. This from life coach Katie Dean, who shares her single mum life on Instagram. Sunday mornings can be a lonely place if you're hung up on a relationship status, she says. But whether you're single, attached or it's complicated, you can still bring big Sunday energy. Put a smile on your dial. Even if you're smiling at yourself in the mirror. It's weird, we know, but research shows that smiling makes us happier, even if we fake it to begin with. Tip two. Sorry to mention it, again, but it really does start with gratitude. Instead of thinking about someone who is missing, think about someone that you are grateful for. Spend five minutes writing a gratitude email to that person or a gratitude DM if it's easier. Studies show writing gratitude letters, or the virtual equivalent, improves your happiness and the happiness of the person receiving it. Tip three, send a social media wave. Studies suggest that using social media to keep in touch with existing friends can help us to feel connected. It only tends to make us feel lonely when our entire feed is strangers people who we watch but never interact with. Finally, remember the opposite of loneliness isn't popularity, it's intimacy. So, think quality over quantity and send your BFF a kissy face emoji. I'm Casey Donovan and this is The Space. Tune in tomorrow for my favourite mindfulness moments from the week to clear your head. Space out.